Early retirement has been a goal of mine for the past 10 years, and I suspect if you are looking for direction on how to retire early, this video is going to provide a ton of value for you. Keep watching if you have been looking for different ways to retire earlier. Hey everyone, thanks for clicking on this video. Welcome to Transparent Finance, where my goal is to be as open as possible with my finances. If you subscribe to this channel and watch my videos, I know that you will improve your overall understanding of building your net worth and retiring early. Getting back to our topic, accelerating your net worth and retiring early is obviously something that we all aspire to do. Our culture is obsessed with the grind and it almost seems like a requirement to make big money. But in this list, you're going to find that I provided a combination of aggressive investments and also sacrifices that you can make in order to accelerate early retirement. It does not have to be a full on grind that depletes you of your energy. That's the thing about building your net worth and retiring early. There is no one size fits all method. Just take with you the bits and pieces from this list that will work for you. Starting off with number one, we have investment real estate. If you have watched any of my videos, you know that I personally used to own a quadplex, which I highly regret selling. In fact, selling that property was probably my single worst financial mistake of my life. I did make big money, but keeping it would have put me a lot closer to early retirement. Here, I'm not talking about just any real estate investment. If you are just starting out, I would recommend anywhere from a duplex up to a quadplex. If you can live in one of the units while renting out the others, that is even better. You can take advantage of homestead exemption opportunities, which will bring down your tax burden. Not only is this type of investment going to increase your net worth, but it's also going to pay you money. And if you have a job, you are going to find that when you are making money from real estate in combination with your job, you're going to save money at a rapid pace. Then down the road, when rents have increased and your mortgage is paid down, that property will be like your own cash machine paying you a salary. I'm going to link one of my videos in the description titled the number one way to increase your net worth, where I go into more detail about this type of real estate investing. So I recommend watching that video after you watch this one. Number two comes in the form of a side hustle. Now, before you lash out at me saying it's too time consuming or too broad of an idea, think about this. If you have a job where you work online or at least have a marketable skill for anything that you can do digitally, you can find gigs on either Fiverr or Upwork. I have personally hired people from these sites and I know that I have marketable skills that I could easily get hired for. Obviously, there are a ton of other types of side hustles that you could start, but I mentioned these two websites specifically because they are the lowest barrier to entry out of any side hustle that you could start. You simply just sign up and start bidding on projects. If you've watched any of my other videos, you might know that one of my side hustles is that I started an app company. This took a lot more time to start than it would have been to get on these websites and start plugging away. If you have some extra time, I recommend taking a look at Fiverr or Upwork to see if there's anything that you might be able to get started to make you some extra money. Number three might not even be an option for you, but let's give it a shot. How many cars do you have? Just owning a second car might be costing you thousands of dollars per year. Can you do without a second car? If so, consider selling it. Since my wife and I both work from home, I have been hounding her to sell her car for a couple of years now. She doesn't want to and suggests that since her car is paid off, we shouldn't need to sell it. But there are more costs than just monthly payments when it comes to your car. That could be car insurance, gas money, and other maintenance that you might need to perform. I really want you to think about how necessary your second car is and ask yourself if it would help you save more money to invest if you sold your car. I know for a fact that we could sell my wife's car and she wouldn't miss it. I almost have to beg her to drive it once per week so the battery doesn't die. I understand that she is looking towards the future when we have more kids and we actually probably will need the extra car, but it is important to consider these things if you're looking to retire early. Coming in at number four is to ask for a raise from your job, but keep your current lifestyle. If you don't know what lifestyle creep is, it's when you inflate your lifestyle to match your salary. The vast majority of United States consumers are guilty of this. And if you could pull off heavy savings, you will find yourself barreling towards retirement faster than your peers. Before you get mad at me about this obvious tip, I want you to think about your latest raise. Was it what you think you deserve? Here are the facts. Most companies give their employees the bare minimum raise that they think they can get away with just to keep them on board. It isn't until that employee comes up with another job offer or threatens to quit that the employer will either match the competitor's salary or let that employee go. Here's the catch though, you have to be willing to jump ship. And I know that is hard for a lot of people to get into that psychological state. My number one tip for you if you're looking to get a raise is to start right now with tracking all the things that you personally did that impacted the company positively. Make sure it is measurable and let it be known at your next check-in. This will send a message that you know what you are worth and you know that you are providing significant value for the company. And if the company doesn't pay you, you will have no issues getting another job elsewhere. Number five is getting serious about your budgeting. Look, if you spend 100% of your income right now, believe me, you will not be retiring anytime soon. But what about if you saved 50% of your income? At that rate, you would be able to retire significantly sooner than if you continued down the path of a 100% spend rate. This is a pretty simple formula. If you cannot save money, you cannot retire. I'm throwing in number six as a bonus because I know there are some of you out there who are completely sick of working and want to retire right now. For this, 
I would highly consider the idea of retiring to another country. In this case, I'm specifically talking about Southeast Asia. If you are living in the Western world, you will find that the cost of living in countries like Indonesia, Thailand, or Vietnam is significantly less than the United States or other similar countries. My wife and I spent 38 nights in Bali and spent less than $2,000 on food, transportation, entertainment, and lodging. And if we really tried, I suspect we could have spent half that. The reason I only put this as a bonus is because if you have family or friends living close to you, it could be very difficult to leave that behind. But if you are free from those types of responsibilities, it could be time for you to try this new adventure. Hey, real quick, thanks so much for watching up to this point in the video. I appreciate all of you and I wanted to encourage you to subscribe to this channel if this is the type of content that you are interested in. Don't forget to head over to my channel and check out my latest monthly net worth update. Also, please like this video, share this video, and comment to add to the conversation. As you can see, there are plenty of options for you to consider if you want to accelerate early retirement. And as you might suspect, this list doesn't even scratch the surface for different ways to get started on your retirement. Let's do a quick recap of what was mentioned in this video. At number one, we had investment real estate, which is my personal favorite way to build your net worth. At number two, there were side hustles, which you could quickly get started on websites like Fiverr and Upwork. At number three, we had the option of selling your second car. I know this might be controversial, but consider doing anything that would save you a lot of money. Number four is to ask for a raise, but continue your current lifestyle. Don't let lifestyle creep get the best of you. My main tip here is to document everything that you have done for the company to give you leverage when asking for a raise. At number five, we had getting serious about budgeting. Remember, the higher percentage of your salary that you are saving, the faster you will be retiring. And of course, my bonus tip at number six is to retire to a different country with a low cost of living. I really hope you found value in this video. I make these videos to get the conversation started on financial independence, retiring early, and making more money. Gaining financial knowledge is sometimes looked down upon in our society for whatever reason, but I think it's very important and I hope you do too. That's it for now. Until next time, keep at it. <clears throat> Obviously, there are a ton of other... It isn't until that employee come. At number five, we had getting, remember, the higher percentage of your,